Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Funto. I'm a Nigerian living and studying in Moscow, Russia. If this is your first time on my YouTube channel, seeing my face, welcome. Drum rolls for you guys. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. Thank you so much for sticking around. Thank you so much for your comments, your likes. I get your emails. Thank thankfully I'm able to respond. But in today's video, I'm going to be addressing the most asked questions ever in my dm instagram hey i said instagram instagram emails comment sections i think one of the most frequently asked questions that i've ever gotten is what jobs are there for international students in russia In today's video, I'm going to be addressing three major things. Are there jobs for Russia? Are there jobs here in Russia for international students? How many hours can you work? And um, what else? Are there jobs? And what types of jobs we have in Russia? I think I'm going to start with the first one. Are there jobs for international students? Yes and no. I know that sounds very what is she saying but yeah i would say yes and no because it depends on your hustling spirit it also depends on a lot of things to be honest yes and no the second one is how many hours can you work as an international student unlike other countries european countries american and north american countries where you are allowed to work for just eight hours or some hours a week or so in Russia, it's not like that. In Russia, so far, you have your student visa. You are able to work for as long as you want to work. But do not overwork yourself. You are allowed to work for 8 hours a day, 40 hours a week. Some people work on Saturday. Some people work on Sunday. It's not a problem for the government. It's not a problem. So far, you have your student visa. You can work as long and as much as you want to work. What kind of jobs do we have in Russia? We have the corporate jobs and then we have the non-corporate jobs and most time you get people do the non-corporate jobs if you find people in the corporate sector doing the corporate jobs they are either doing internships or either doing internships or they are tech bros like tech people for the non-corporate jobs we have people that work at fast food restaurant we have people that works at works in restaurants normal food restaurant we also have people that teach English. We have people that do dishwashing and all of those things. Jobs that are not corporate. You get what I mean? That is how it is here in Russia. Now, let's take it one by one. Why did I say yes and no? For someone like me, I've not, I don't think I've worked for as long as three months at a stretch in this country. I've worked in so I've worked several occasions, several times. Maybe one month, sometimes one week, sometimes two months. I think the IS I've done is two months. Right? Have I? I don't know. Maybe one month. Because I think that one I'm very sure. I don't know if I've done two months. But one month, I'm pretty sure of that. And for me, I've worked at I've worked in call centers, which is like non-corporate jobs, right? I've worked at a call center. It wasn't so good for me. I think the thing about the call centers here in Russia is the fact that you get to lie. And for someone like me, I'm not saying people that work at call centers don't have morals and values. I'm just saying that for me, it's against my value. I was not brought up to cheat people. I was not brought up to lie to people to get bank details or have them deposit their money in some scheme thing that they don't know about. And I left. I left. Even when I got the job, the first day I resumed at that work, I told my very close friend here in Russia, Louis, I told him, I don't think I want to work here. I don't think my spirit aligns in what to working here, in working here. And was like, what, why, what happened? And I explained what happened to him at work that day. And then I was like, why not leave? And I told him that I don't want to leave because someone recommended me for the job. And I didn't want to come up, come off as, oh, she's ungrateful and all of that. And so he told me something it was like, if God does not want you to be there, it would take you out of the place. And I think that was what God just did. I was going to resume work on a Monday, on a Friday. I was going to go to, I was going to work on a Friday. I was perfectly fine a day before Friday. 
nothing happened to me and friday i woke up i was dressing up and i said to me i said i've been running stomach and like i could not go like i could not take i was literally just not myself right so i knew i wasn't going to go to work that day i didn't go to work and that was the day the board said to come to the my office like my department office and i was like so that's abimbala and they were like oh she's sick she's not like tell her not to come on monday and i'm like thank goodness me call center jobs are not really legit because she gets to cheat people that is for call center but if you do not mind you can work in a call center if you don't mind to be very honest and so then i've worked at the at schools and kindergartens i've worked at two three different kindergartens right and i think for me that's one of the most legit jobs one of the most legit jobs you can do in russia teaching english or teaching french or teaching portuguese or teaching teaching chinese teaching languages generally is a very good job here in russia very legit no cutting corners except you have a very silly employer but and it pays well People build houses, buy cars, live their very good, very comfortable lifestyle with teaching English. And I think that's a very good job as well. And the good thing about teaching English here in Russia is that you don't work in schools, kindergartens, private, having private clients, or as an interpreter, if you can speak Russian and you can speak English, you also serve as interpreters for companies for business people and all of that and you also get to work as english teacher for adults for companies so some companies do do english language training for their staff it's a lot of money you can earn as high as as low as 1000 rubles no you can earn as low as 900 rubles per hour and an hour in russia when it comes to academics is 40 minutes but for every 40 minutes you are 900 imagine you teaching for three hours a day that's 2100 if you multiply that by five if you choose to work five days a week that 900 times five no what am i saying 2100 multiply by five do your mathematics you get to have that in a week then multiply it by four weeks but if you do that two one in for two days or two one for three days you see how much you're getting right and it's a lot of money. Some people earn as high as 200,000 rubles. That's an equivalent of 2 million naira a month teaching English. Then restaurants work. Then you see people doing bartenders. You see people attending to customers. You see people running deliveries. At food Korea. Yeah, food Korea or scooters or other, other things. Are you are able to drive scooter. You're able to ride a bike. You're able to drive a car and you don't mind working and you can also work in the restaurant fast food restaurant and normal restaurants as couriers and what else yes i think that's that for restaurants also people work in kindergartens as cleaners right and you can also get to do nanny job nanny job also pays so good in this country i think to be honest what i said no is also because most of these jobs require recommendations and except god is actually on your side and you just randomly apply to hhs how are you or using career space and all of those jobs job websites you can also get jobs using the website but most times all these recommendations for me all the jobs i've gotten in this country were through recommendations except from the last kindergarten i worked to me even that one was i, I would count as recommendation because my friend blessing recommended a telegram channel for me to join and i joined the telegram channel and i saw the vacancy and i applied and then i got to work at that kindergarten for me i stopped working at that kindergarten because the proprietor said that it was all the obvious it was holiday right so the kids traveled so they were not going to do summer classes for the class i was teaching which was nursery classes because they were like three to five and they've resumed that she didn't call me back during the holiday but I was already I was living two two hours thirty minutes away from the school at that time, and the money she was offering me for that distance wasn't making sense to me, which was lower than what she was paying me when the school was on. I told her that I wasn't working, that I have bills to pay right now, and what she was offering me wasn't gonna work. That's why I stopped working at that particular kindergarten. 
and you also get to work remotely depend some organizations let you work remotely example is yandex yandex allow you work remotely as a copywriter or a chat a chat box officer like you respond to emails you respond to all this chat that, that chat box thing that used to pop up when you are using the internet that kind of thing yeah and then what other job did i say is available yeah some people work as dishwashers in schools in restaurants and all of that also like the major jobs that we have here in russia that you can do as an international student then when it comes to the corporate jobs if you're a tech person then russia is actually for you like russia is for you if you're a tech person you get to work as program managers it back-end developers front-end developers just think about tech roles they have it here mostly they are always asking for people who speak english right and then other things you can do to make money here in russia aside from working normal jobs which is either the corporate jobs and not the non corporate jobs is also having uh, ant skills we call it ishawa in nigeria like in my local dialect you call it ishawa if you are able to braid your hair if you're also able to sew clothes if you're able to do makeup if you're able to plan events if you're able to design for people if you're a social media manager for me i've had people reach out to me to do content for them but i mean i was just telling joyce during the weekend that a particular she was trying to reach out to a particular organization i'm like if i reach out to this organization i create content for them it's more or less like i'm endorsing them and i will not endorse what my value does not align with i use your service right because of course i need to use your service but i will not create content with them for them because it would mean i'm endorsing them and i don't endorse things like that because of my values also people will not want to pay your bills because sometimes they reach out to you and then they want free free services if you're able to stand your ground i, I know that you need money i know that we all need money but sometimes you, are, you need to be able to stand your ground in russia um, when you just come it's okay for you to do free jobs because of course you're trying to get network and all of that but once you spend like six months six months is a lot once you spend like three months six months one year and then they're still coming for free services tell them no i know you need money for me i need money bad bad but there are some things i will not take right those are also things you can do if you can buy beer as well you can work with you can partner with african salon and tell them they pay you on every class that comes and all of that I think to be honest that is how you make money in russia i think i've answered the major questions about can you work in russia yes you can work how many hours can i work you can work as long as you want 12 hours eight hours a day as long as you want so far it's comfortable for you and your goal of coming here is not defeated which is studying because if you don't study your school for like my school will report you to the government and then they probably seize your visa and then you go back to your country so far the purpose of you coming to russia is not defeated you can work as long as you want to work and what kind of jobs can you do i've already mentioned it already and i think that is literally all for getting jobs in internet getting jobs in russia as an international student i think this applies to every country when you come to russia it's the same just have and work and also i have a good network because my friends have they recommend me for roles and all of that and that brings us to the end of today's video and uh, if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel please do subscribe to my youtube channel and do not forget to share and turn your post notification bell to get notified every time i post a new video and see you guys in my next video bye